And now for something completely different. So you remove all your jewelry, and I've none on me, so you just wet your hands terribly under warm running water. Five, about roughly five minutes of soap. Rub hands together five times, and rub your right hand with the back of your hand five times, and do the same with the other hand. Then, with your right hand over the left hand, rub your fingers five times, and do the same on your hand. And then, rub hands with your fingers interlocked, and make sure to wash thumbs individually. And rub the tips and fingers against your hand in a circular motion, making sure that the nail beds are washed. Then, rinse hands thoroughly, removing all soap. And if you have to turn off the tap, make sure to use your elbow. Then dry hands. Why is it necessary to wash hands using this method? Often with everyday hand washing, fingernails, thumbs, between the fingers and the backs of hands can be missed. In places such as hospitals, where patients can be immunocompromised, it can be very dangerous to neglect the washing of parts of the hands and potentially spread pathogens or harmful bacteria. how to wash your hands using the alcohol rock method. This is important to um, kill any pathogens that might be on your hand. Um, so we start by taking off any jewellery that I just did there. Then you take some of the alcohol rub and you put about three mils on your hand. And you begin by rubbing palm to palm to spread the alcohol rub all over your hand. And then you rub the back of your left hand with your right hand. And then rub the back of your right hand with your left hand. Now interlock your fingers, just between them, and the other hand as well. Now rub them palm to palm and interlock your fingers. And now clean the thumb. And rub your fingertips and both hands. And make sure you get your wrist. And allow your hands to dry completely afterwards. They're all covered with filthy germs, aren't they, Smithers? Why, what do you mean, sir? Freemasons run the country! Ugh.